Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on the video. Really quick, right before we get started, if you're interested in making FPS games in Unreal Engine, I have a full 93 episode course on my website right now that teaches you how to make a FPS game start to finish. It's got tons of really quality content. I put a ton of work into it. I'd really appreciate it, even if you just went to go check it out. Thank you so much. Link is in the description. Pretty much every tutorial I've seen on Weapon Sway in UE4 has just been people saying to attach a spring arm to your gun, but this actually doesn't work super well because you can't clamp it and turning really fast makes it look like your gun is going flying. It's uh, not an actual solution to Weapon Sway. So let's do it the proper way. We want to create a function inside of our first person character called Weapon Sway. And we want to make a float with the input as our delta time. Create three local variables. The first two will be rotators, and we'll call it final rot and initial rot. And the last will be a float called max sway degree. I set mine to 2.5 degrees by default. Uh, I'm going to set the final rotation to the get turn times max sway degree for x and z, and get look up times max sway degree for y. Next, we want to set the weapon placement's relative rotation and get an r interp2 node, but don't plug it in. Current will be the weapon placement relative rotation. We want to break the target. X will be the initial rotation X plus the final rotation X. Y will be initial rotation Y minus final rotation Y. And Z will be initial rotation Z plus final rotation Z. The delta time will be our delta input. And the interp speed I set to 2.5. You can adjust this, uh, which will change how fast your weapon sways. Now, instead of plugging this directly in, it will work by having our weapon uh, delay before going to its designated rotation, but it won't clamp, so we kind of have the same problem we have with the spring arm, where uh, if you move really fast, it can, it can look uh, very messed up. So instead of plugging this directly in, we want to break the output, and we want to clamp all three values to the max sway amount for the max, and max sway amount times negative one for the minimum. and then we want to put it in the event tick after the check if equipped weapon is valid. This part's only important if you have been following my previous tutorials on Black Ops Zombies. Also, if you've been following the previous tutorials, we want to make sure uh, this doesn't happen when we're reloading or anything. So uh, in between, we want to add two branches. One is for not reloading and one is for not equipping. And now we can test it. And when you can see, it's actually really simple. That's all we needed. And now we have this wonderful looking weapon sway that looks really natural and really clean. Remember, you can change the max sway degree to change how far the gun can sway, or you can change the interp speed to change how fast it's going to sway. Let me show you with a couple different values to show what that looks like. So that's it for this video today, guys. Really short one. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. It really helps a lot with the channel. I really appreciate it. Or consider subscribing. I have a lot of good game dev content on my channel. Thanks for joining, and I will see you in the next episode. Darling, you